Hamlet, why such a sad look for a pig? This is supposed to be separated. Yeah, we are going to be cooked. Nope. Look at this self-cooking bacon. Ah, Hamlet, Hamlet. Hamlet, why? Self-cooking bacon. Oh, yeah. Poor Hamlet. T Hello YouTube! Well, welcome back to another episode of Games Done Slow and Bad, where we play games slowly and most often badly. Today, we are returning to Illusions of Gaia. We're in the natives' village. Um, things happen here. There's some sad skeletons that are fresh. Here we find three stone statues of women. We also find a red jewel. One of two here in the village. One of which you have to get later. Strange on a soul here and skeletons scattered about. Yeah, strange. Should we go into the house? Yeah, why not? Just like skeletons and whatnot. No one here. The village looks abandoned. Great. Abandoned village full of skeletons. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Eric. You, you never disappoint. I'm exhausted. Oink. Let's rest today! Okay. Sure, let's sleep in this abandoned village. Exhausted from the trip, they fall into a deep sleep. A long time passes. Womp womp. What? Hamlet? Let me sleep a while longer. Uh, what, Will? Don't be so noisy. Ah, who are you? Ah, the sound of people being clubbed. As if this game wasn't dark enough. We're gonna cook some people. They seem to be very hungry. Look, those children look so upset. That's right, the servant boy said that in Frisia. There's so much famine in this uh, country. Those bones are the bodies of people who starved to death. Excellent. Why is there a cooking fire? Oh no, we'll be next. Thank you, Eric. Hamlet, why such a sad look for a pig? This is supposed to be separated. Yeah? Well, you're going to be cooked. Nope. Look at this. Self-cooking bacon. Ah! Hamlet! Hamlet! Hamlet, why? Self-cooking bacon. Oh, yeah. Poor Hamlet. To eat or not to eat? Thank you, Eric. Hamlet, sob. Yep. Thank you, Eric. A familiar voice echoed in their heads. Listen, everyone. It was Hamlet's wish to be food for these people. One baby pig could have many villagers. Mother? Or we'll go with the, the archer voice. Mother! Will and everyone in this place. Darkness is approaching the world. You must combine your strength to save the planet. Will, find the mystical sp uh, statues and go to the Tower of Babel. You know, where your father died. Thanks, Mom. Let's enjoy some bacon. What do you have to say? This man timidly held his hand. Take his hand, yes. You, we don't understand each other's language, but I think we agree. We like bacon. Eric, what do you have to say? This tribe is so small. They have lost so many to starvation. Brothers, sisters, husbands, wives. How do they cope? With bacon. The boy points to the northeast. Show him the map. He drew a picture of the temple on the map. I think he's saying he wants to go to the temple. He tugs him with sleep as if he wants to take him somewhere. Go with him? Yes. Oh, this game! Who the hell thought this was a good idea? He faces a skeleton with tears in his eyes. Is this a skeleton of a relative? A friend? Oh my god, this game! The man holds some food, eats some no. The man looks sad. It tastes of dumplings made of insects. Oh. <laughs> oh god, this game is so awful. He just jumped into the fire. Hamlet, noble pig, I will miss you. Bacon, bacon. 
roasting Hamlet. God, this game. Oh. I mean, we didn't even go into the fact that the pig is actually secretly his mother, or his mother's spirit, but, oh, come on, like, <laughs> the pig is the one party member who I genuinely didn't hate. The door to Angkor Wat. Through the jungle, three days' journey from the native village, there's a huge temple. I don't think there's anything over here, but... Oh, uh, yeah, there is. All right. Oh, these guys. So, these guys... Like the, uh... Can you even beat these guys? I'm not positive you can even beat these guys. So we're gonna avoid. That's right. This place had a bunch of doors. It's not the hardest area in the world in terms of just sheer difficulty, but in terms of the scale, it's actually pretty impressive. This, mind you, is just supposed to be the doorway to the place. Alright, so these guys... Oh yes, you can beat them! Sweet! They're just incredibly difficult. Okay, perfect. So, this level is not the most difficult. The scale is pretty impressive, and the enemies hit a little bit harder than in previous levels. Um, so that entirely makes up for the, uh, I guess, the lack of a boss battle, spoiler alert, um, at the end of this. Nonetheless, these trolley bushes are, are a little bit of fun. That's not one, right? No. And these guys are just tanky. Impressively tanky. Alright, so if memory serves, you have to, I think, like, maybe Psycho Dash? Let's try that. Yes! There we go. All right, so now we know the sort of magic, the magic trick to uh, KOing these guys, to use the Psycho Dash. Oh, come on. Yeah, this level, uh, like all the other levels, we're going to try to collect all of the power-ups. With how trolly these guys are, it's a little more difficult. Hmm. Oh. Come on. You know you want a piece of me. Mmm, tasty cake. Oh, the just the, the dash is just amazing. Although it says I still am missing an enemy. Probably another freaking bush. Oh no, it's another one of these guys. Oh, you're the worst. In a freaking wonderful world of fast food, you're like a freaking Arby's. Incredibly disappointing. Alright, and that was just the entrance, so that sort of gives you an idea of how legit this area is. Oh, these guys, I hate these guys. There's a lot of enemies that behave similar to some of the stuff we've seen before. These guys are different, though. So, they're only attackable when they are not doing that thing, uh, which is troublesome. There's ramps, uh, similar to the Sky Gardens. And if you mistime your, your slides, your, your dunskies. Uh, 
Oh, as I remember these guys now. <laughs> yeah, these guys are trolly. They chase you pretty much around the map. Then they reform, and then you have to kill them. Which is not hard, just annoying. Alright, right, Red Jewel. So, just to recap uh, all the sadness in this level, I need four Red Jewels. Four Red Jewels would get me up to a total of 40 Red Jewels. Oh, look at that money. All right. I like this level. It is just the right level of trolley mixed with some difficult enemies. Not like irrationally difficult or like existing only to hit you. <laughs> Things like that. Like that's neat. As a concept, that's really neat. These guys are annoying. Alright, so these guys, uh, if you don't kill them in time, I believe drop, like, a little mini enemy. Alright, these guys are a two-hit attack. Hit them once with this, and then hit them with the slide. If you just try and slap them, they will get up in your business pretty quickly. Ah, see, there you go. There's the, the little guys. Able to cause that to happen. Oh, yes. Did some nice uh, slap dodges there. All right. This place really pays off in terms of the power-ups. Here is the uh, concatenation of a number of enemies, uh, culminating in having to fight one of these swingy guys uh, while also trying to take down one of these floating head guys. Which is only annoying because of the floating head's propensity to split into two and chase you around the map. This is right about the time in the game where, when I was a kid, I got bored of doing this sort of garbage and just ran away. Like, power-ups be darned. Come on! Uh. Are you kidding me? There we go. If memory serves, I don't know if you play as Free Dan much at all on this level. Which, as I've said before, is incredibly disappointing. There we go. All the cleanup. Alright. Yep. And I really honestly have no idea what this is supposed to be. I assume, like, bugs or something, or... But there's really not a penalty. Yeah, whatever it is, it's just uh, a nuisance more than anything else. So you fall down through that trapped floor, blah, 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 blah. And guess what they drop on you? Annoying face guy McGee. X2. Oh, come on now. Oh, it's so trolly. Oh my god. This game.
gonna try some psycho dash attacks because that seems to be working much better oh god I just aced me Whew. I desperately need health We got one more guy. There we go. I could desperately use a health power up right about now. Thank you very much, game. These guys absolutely hit like trucks. Alright, we're gonna do that. This seems to be the way to, to go about this. The Psycho Dash strat seems to be the best bet for the least amount of damage for the amount of damage I need to do to these guys and I desperately need to help up come on oh god that's annoying These guys are not gonna give in to my strat, so get that. Perfect. Yeah, I know, that was really poorly done on my part, that last block. Um, we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. This is an exceptionally long level, so my plan here, if all goes according to it, is I would like to be able to get through half of this level, get two red jewels, and then split off uh, into another episode. Making this generally a... Whoop. Cause this guy to go off. Making this a nice, neat, clean, two-part episode. Alright, that was totally worth the one damage. That was not worth the damage. Jesus, come on. Get in the game, man. You're gonna jump at once. Of course I'm not gonna jump at once. That would be way too easy. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. That's annoying. Perfect. And by perfect, I mean perfectly mediocre. Nothing I'm doing here is that impressive. Uh, is there anything over here? Nope. Yeah, this level is sneaky fun. Like, relative to the other levels, I enjoy them. Fine or I enjoy a lot of this game. But sometimes there's just little things about this game that are just a freaking blast. Alright. Is this gonna allow me to do anything? That seems like a thing. Here's the last two enemies. Boom. Boom. Falling rocks. Cool. Cool little mechanic. I don't know if how many other times you see it in this game. It's just a neat little thing. So as you see, this is a departure from what we've been encountering in terms of dungeons, which were like difficult, but difficult because of positioning and navigation and locking things up behind uh, mushroom drops and whatnot. This is hard because it is, you know, genuinely hard. The enemies have these unique patterns, they intertwine together, they become more difficult as they get more damage. You're like this grid, right? If you just go through here and just wildly slap your freaking flute around, uh, you're done. It's not gonna be great. 
So you need to methodically come through here and wipe these guys out if you're like me and you want all of the power-ups. That was not great. Let's see how fast we can get this guy to go. <laughs> uh, silly. This is a nice little level, though. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I know nothing about the significance of this place, uh, unlike sort of the other levels, the Nazca Lines, the Incan Ruins. The things are, are incredibly cool. Uh, this is... I have no idea, but... Uh, It is incredibly well designed, in my opinion. There we go. And there we go. Strength increased. So I'm going to hit much more like a truck. We now have an ability to get out the uh, main door. We have only found, to date, look at this, 39 enemies. Oh, this game. We have only found a handful of the... Uh, jewels that we need to find in this ep in this uh, episode but we have spent actually quite a decent amount of time in this level now, what I will say is I'm, I'm having a great deal of fun and that's really what's important in these games uh, the variations of enemies the bushes especially I get a kick out of just because unlike other games that give you like a, a good tell like oh that bush is green Oh, that bush is blue. Uh, I should go hit the blue bush. No, no, no. These are pretty green bushes. I mean, like, there's a slight uh, shift in tint. Like, that guy right there is clearly not a real bush. That guy there is clearly not a real bush. However, I just saw him run, so that's uh, a lot of the reason why I know that. Um, there's just a lot of cool little things like that, you know? And these flies, they're, they're neat. Um... You know, it's just RNG. Like, oh, I'm trying to kill a bush? That fly doesn't care that I'm trying to kill a bush. That fly is just going to come right run in, right into me. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, And it's not an elastic band either, right? It's not like the fly gets faster, the better you're doing or something like that. No, no, no. The fly is just there to harass you. Like, he has no other stated purpose in life. I'll take that, thank you. No, I'll take that. Thank you. No, thank you. There we go. That one's also fake. Yeah. It's rather late at night as I record this. Um, for me, at least. I, I have a very early day job. So, uh... What likely seems pretty obvious to you is not so obvious to my uh, tired eyes. I've put in a full day of work and uh, staring at a computer for nine hours is not doing me any favors. Oh, we get to use Freedan, thank the lord. I wasn't sure if you got to use him, and I was incredibly sad about that because, again, I believe he is the best character. There is another character, as you see that by a blank space on the other side, but it is not Freedan, which makes it inferior. But you know what? This, I think, is actually a good place to end it. Thanks everyone for watching. We have tank tackled the first part of Angkor Wat. We have gotten one red gem. We have three to go and to beat this temple. We are in the final leg, folks, and it is great that you've joined me here today. I know you have a lot of options. Thank you for joining me. Uh, hit us up on Twitter at games underscore done underscore slow. And hit us up on Facebook, games done slow and bad. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see us do next. Hey, I know you have a lot of options. Thank you sincerely for tuning in. And have a nice night. <laughs>